Hi, this is Beth from 123homeschoolforme.com, and I'm just sharing another free resource on my website for parents and homeschoolers. Um, so today I'm sharing our place value PB and J. This is a fun activity for kids who are learning about place value, and it's appropriate for kindergarten all the way through third grade. Um, in the packet are labels, so you can put a label on your manila folder, so it makes it handy to store and bring out whenever you're ready or for saving for when other kids are getting older. And then it also has clear directions, so in case you forget what to do, they're right there. All right, so you're going to go ahead and you're going to print out your sheets. They're in two packets. Um, so the first set has eight different um, sandwiches to make with different number combinations, and then the set B also has another eight. Um, so you probably only needed the first set, but if you're using it, um, say you purchased it in my TPT site with a classroom license, then you get both sets. So you're going to get the 16 words. All right, so here's what you do. You print them off. You're going to print them in color, and you're going to laminate it. This just makes them more durable for little hands that are using the game. And then here is the bread and butter, so to speak, of our activity, or the peanut butter and jam of our activity. Um, we have these mats laid out. It helps kids to recognize and order how the numbers are supposed to look. So our outside bread is the bread is the thousands. We've got our... Um, Grape jam, which is the hundreds. We've got our peanut butter representing the tens, and then we've got a smaller slice of bread for the ones. So you're going to print out the pieces, and you're going to put them on the corresponding mat. So they make nice, logical sense for the kids who are doing the activity. And if you have a child, um, like a kindergartner, they're probably not ready for the thousands yet. That's not a problem. You can just take out the thousands and just do these. There are lots of different number choices, and most of them don't, like, they're equal all the way, so they will still get a fun activity even if they're not ready for the thousands yet. All right, so the other part of it is we've got these knives, and these represent how we are adding to the sandwich, so kids know that we have the thousands plus the hundreds plus the tens plus the ones gives us our um, total number. Um, and then these are the little sandwich pieces. It tells you what kind of sandwich we're going to make. Um, so in this one, we're looking for a sandwich with a total of two. Um, so to show you how to do it, I'm going to start with this one, a little bit bigger number. We're looking for a total of 745. All right, so to build it, the kids are going to start with how many thousands do we have? No thousands. So we have no thousands on our bread. Okay, then we need to take one of our knives to add to our sandwich. We're going to spread something on there. All right, then we need seven hundreds. So we're going to get seven hundreds. We're going to put all of them so they're flush to the right. It'll help the kids to be able to visualize the sandwich when they're done. Then we go back and we get our knife because we're going to keep adding to our sandwich. We're spreading things on. Then we look and for tens, we need four tens. So we look for our tens and here we have four tens, which is 40. So we're going to add that to our sandwich. Again, flush to the right. We're going to grab another knife to spread it all on. And again, helping kids to remember we're adding these numbers together. And last but not least, we have a five ones. Five ones is our last piece of bread. Flush to the right. And then if I can get rid of the glare, you can see here's our finished sandwich. So that's what it should look like. And so you can see with our card here, it says 745. They can even visualize and see. Um, it's hard with just one hand here, but um, that it's 745, so they know they're right. So if you were doing this activity then, you would just slide your sandwich over to the side and do the next one. And then in these stacks are also some blank sandwiches. And what you do with those is once you make all these eight sandwiches that are in each of the sets, you will have some numbers left over. This is a great chance for kids to show what they've learned, kind of doing it in reverse. They'll build a sandwich with the leftover ones, and there's, there's a couple choices. Then when they build them and put them together, then they're going to use a dry erase marker. Again, that's assuming you've laminated it. And they're going to write what their total was. So, for example, if we built this sandwich, we'd have 4,000, no, hundreds. Sorry, I'm missing the knives right now to show you real fast. 30 and what do we got? A three. So on this sandwich here, the child then would write on this 4,033. Again, showing that they've mastered 
what the concept was. So again, it's a really easy way for kids to practice. It's fun. The kids love making sandwiches. Again, this is for free for parents on my website at 123homeschoolforme.com. And if you have a co-op class or if you are a teacher in any kind of classroom setting, you can go ahead and just pop over to Teachers Pay Teachers and find my site, um, my store there, and you can buy the correct license. And don't worry, it's only like two bucks or something like that. It, not trying to break the bank either there. So, all right. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy this free resource.